Hey friends, welcome back. Time for another one minute identity and access management lesson. And today I was thinking, why don't we just jump right into one of the most important elements that you'll find in a security policy. And that is the effect element within a statement. Now remember friends, this effect element is exactly how we allow something or also how we deny some sort of an action based on what the statement is that it's defining. Remember that you have to go and look at the rest of the elements in there, like the resource, and then specifically what sort of actions they might be performing in there. In the end though, the effect element ultimately determines whether we're allowing or denying based on what the criteria is that you provide. Along the way, we also remember too that how we make allow and deny work together within the same policy or across multiple statements or across multiple policies has a big effect on the overall permissions evaluation process itself. So in addition to this, remember that we are also dealing with a default deny all. This means that if you create a new user and don't give them any permissions by attaching a policy or putting them in a group somewhere that has permissions associated with it, then they're not gonna be able to make any API calls. And maybe that's the desired effect, <laughs> but in most situations, you probably wanna grant them at least some level of privileges of course, always keeping in mind that least privileges model that's out there. The other thing to kind of recognize as well is that if you are using uh, a deny statement, okay, it cannot be overridden. So this is very important because later on as you're writing policies and you're considering the implications of somebody granting additional privileges, maybe accidentally, remember all it takes is just adding a new policy that might grant with an allow statement and boom, all of a sudden you might have a security situation on your hand. So by using a deny statement, you can ensure that that particular action or that particular statement can never be allowed anywhere else in the resulting set of permissions for that particular identity. So keep in mind friends that as you're designing your identity and access management policies, we always wanna consider a few factors, when to use and allow and deny, how to get them to work together, how are they gonna work with the default permission set and always remembering that a deny can never be overridden. So keep this in mind as we talk a little bit more in future lessons about how to use the allow and deny actions and effects together to get exactly what you're looking for out of your security policy. See you next time.